How do you keep your teeth so white? Why is your skin so smooth? What are you using in your hair? Your skin is glowing, girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Glam Prezi. If you are new here, hey girl, hey. And to my returning subbies, y'all know we locked in and you know I love you. Thank you so much for tuning back in to another video. As you can see by the intro, thumbnail, and the title, we are going to be talking about fibroid friendly body care today. I literally had a totally different video scheduled for today. A Little bit more of a heavier topic, but I thought to myself, you know what? Let's keep it cute, let's keep it light today. I don't know why, but I just felt like doing a more positive video. This is long awaited and very much requested. Just actually went through my comments again last night and saw that several of you have requested that I do this type of video. And you know I got you. So if you wanna know more about this topic, you know what to do, keep watching. Okay, you guys, so welcome, welcome back to the channel. Again, thank you so much for tuning back into another video. Today is a little bit different, a little bit different. If you watched a lot of my fibroid videos, this is going to be a little bit unorthodox. However, you should stick around because I have some really great suggestions. If you are new here, first things first, girl, are you subscribed? You are? Okay, okay, cool. If you are new here and you haven't been following me long, I actually am a licensed esthetician since I was 19 years old, okay? So skincare and beauty is my forte. That's my thing, thus the name Glam Prezi. That's kind of how I got that name. Although you can see that I've shifted to focus more on functional nutrition and hormones and fibroid wellness, this is my world. This is what I do. I got you. I, got, I definitely got you when it comes to this subject, okay? So we're gonna take it from the top on down to the bottom. How's that sound? Okay, couple announcements. I know y'all hate this, <laughs> but that's why I have chapters on the bottom of the video. So if you do want to fast forward, you can, but listen to the announcement, child. Obviously, if you are not new here, you know that I have a new website, hotgirlhealthjourney.com. I'm going to let you guys know that in every video until everybody knows I have a website, yes. <laughs> this website is dedicated to my journey and giving you guys a place to find resources, research, and products for your fibroid journey, things that have really helped me along the way. You can read more about my story there. I also have my meal plans over there. We do have the one day free meal plan over there. It won't ask anything of you. You can just download it without giving any information or anything like that. It is breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. And I have actually included one recipe in that one. I don't know if any of you guys have seen my what I eat in a day video. I will link it for you right here so you can take a look at it. The chicken that I cooked in there, the recipe is gonna be over on the one day free meal plan. Plan. I have a five day meal plan that is $24.99. You can use code GLAMPREZY to get a 15% discount on that. That one is five days of breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner full with recipes, um, food guides, and kind of more information about my paleo diet. It is a paleo type meal plan. So please keep that in mind. It does include meat and seafood, okay? If you're vegetarian and not vegan, you can still go over and get great use out of that five-day meal plan as you can just sub any of the animal proteins for a vegetable protein. It's as easy as that. I do actually have a video right here talking all about those meal plans in case you wanted more information before going ahead and purchasing, okay? So without further ado, come on in because we got some things to discuss, girl. Okay, guys, I have here a new GT Synergy. This is the Bloom flavor. This one is the spring edition of the kombucha. Elderflower, jasmine, violet, and maki berry juice. It's really yummy and it happens to match. So what does fibroid friendly mean to me? And what is the criteria that I'm actually looking for when looking for products? The product needs to be clean. So clean to me means without chemicals, okay? Such as phthalates, PFAS, and parabens. Even though clean can mean different things in different categories, for example, Sephora has their own certification, which is clean at Sephora. Target also has a clean at Target certification, and they have their own parameters for clean product. Now, the next set of criteria that I'm going to share with you are things that I prioritize, but the product does not necessarily have to have all of these things. So gluten-free, really important to me. It is vegan and it is plant-based. 
Cruelty free is really important to me as well as environmentally conscious. I would even go as far as to say I would like to see an environmental pledge from the company as well, but it needs to be at least slightly environmentally conscious. Fragrance free. Only a few of these products have fragrance in there and, and I will explain when I get to the product, but for the most part, I'm looking for it to be fragrance free. I did do a video, um, I'll link here, and I talked about how fragrance is a hormone disruptor. I think it's very important Important for us to understand that fragrance has really hit the scene hard this spring there's a lot out there and I think you girls really need to be aware when purchasing body care products to use on your skin when you have hormonal imbalance I may mention some products that I don't physically have here right now that just means that I've run out of the product but I highly recommend it and I will put it on the screen shampoo I did just recently run out of it is the melanin hair care African black soap reviving shampoo so effective at cleansing my hair without stripping it it makes my scalp feel really really clean and makes my strands feel super clean but without being stripped I love 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 the melanin hair care brand ever since she came out with that brand I been eyeing it and I recently started using some of her products the shampoo is a standout for me while we're on the topic of her brand I do want to talk about the melanin plumping deep conditioner this one is silkening and strengthening as you can see this is almost completely gone I love this conditioner this one is a deep conditioner so I don't do this when every time I wash my hair I love the scent of it oh my god you guys she knew what she was doing when she formulated this Wow. And for reference, I do want to say that I have a couple different textures of curls in my hair, ranging from about 3B to 4A ish type curls. But my boyfriend's hair is in the fours. I think he's like a 4C and really works for his hair and he loves these products as well. Okay, so regular conditioner. Now, I'm gonna say this I don't own a ton of Shea Moisture products and I cannot speak for other Shea Moisture products. This one is clean, okay, and this one does meet my standards. I tried quite a bit of their products and this is the only one that I continue to repurchase time and time again. This is the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Conditioner. This one says it's for hydrating and restoring extremely dry and brittle hair and it is color safe. This right here, my hair eats this up. I don't think I've ever in my life used a conditioner that had my hair feeling so silky, hydrated, and smooth. Honestly, as a curly girl, I have tried pretty much all of Target, <laughs> all of Walmart, all of Ulta, all of Sephora. I've tried the most high-end hair products, and this conditioner is the GOAT. Oh, let's talk about leave-in conditioner, shall we? The Miel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner has really been getting my life. Like this right here, honestly is one of the best leave-in conditioners that my curls have ever made. I am not a Miel girl. I do not use almost any of her products. Yes, I've tried some of the products in the past. I see that a lot of the girlies swear by this, but honestly, this is the only one so far that I've found that I think really, really works for my hair. I'm not trashing the brand. I'm not saying anything bad about the brand, but this is the only thing that I have actually repurchased and would recommend. This really does hydrate both my hair and my my boyfriend's hair hair gel I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all I have probably about a good 10 to 15 gels downstairs in my bathroom but the ones that I use continuously and the ones that I recommend and will repurchase that's a whole nother story this has been something that I have really been loving lately this is the Aveda B curly advanced curl definer gel this is a stronghold and it says it fights frizz and it's for tight curls and coils i just i don't know this gel is really really good so it leaves my hair so shiny and my curls and waves very defined it gives great hold I, I can find myself using it through the lengths of my hair and when i need to really do a slick back or edges or a po you know a ponytail it smells so good. If you have any of the Aveda B Curly products and you know what this smells like, let's talk about hair oil. Okay, so I've been using this product probably for about four, four maybe five years now. The Hair Growth Co. 10 in 1 Hair Oil. This 
is life. The thing about this oil that I find to be very unique, first of all, it helps with density. It does help to regrowth your hair. I have had plenty of hairstyles that have thinned my edges. I have fine edges as it is. It was just the way that I was born. But again, certain hairstyles that I've worn in the past have put me through it. And this has always brought me back. I noticed that the density of my hair is a lot more voluminous when I'm using this. It smells amazing as well. But the, the uniqueness of this oil is that they use the African Shea powder inside of here. It is also 100% fair trade and handmade, which I really do appreciate. Let me just run off a couple things. It's color safe, it's 100% natural, it has zero chemicals. It has Shea powder, organic peppermint oil, organic rosemary oil, organic castor oil, organic lavender oil, organic avocado oil, organic coconut oil, organic vitamin E oil lemongrass, organic macadamia oil, organic grapeseed oil, organic argan oil. Neil, I do own this. And this is the Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. This was going viral. And so I gave in and I actually purchased it. I don't love it. This is not, again, this is not a Miel disc, but I do want to point out that in comparison to this oil, Miel's oils do not have any organic ingredients. And I thought that that was really strange because the brand is called Miel Organics and I struggle to find organic ingredients in a lot of her products. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. So for me, I'm going to keep rocking with a leave-in and outside of that, I don't know. I don't feel that that's very transparent, but looking at the ingredients of this, the number one ingredient in here is soybean oil and that is very, very disappointing to me. Yeah, I don't know. If you use this product, let me know down below in the comments and let me know your history and experience with it. I do have it, my boyfriend does use it. It is being used here in this house because like I said, I'm not about that waste life. We gonna, we gonna use it. But I prefer this one and I also like to support this because they are a small business. Ah, before we move on, I just wanted to quick, quick, quick let you know that, that the Hair Growth Co, they also have a leave-in conditioner. This is the Rice Water Rapid Growth Leave-In or Rinse Conditioner. If you wanted to try a leave-in, that was strengthening and that will help your hair grow this company does have leave it i get so many comments about my teeth <laughs> i do want to say that i have never had my teeth professionally whitened no i don't think my teeth look like veneers but no they are not veneers i've not had any major tooth anything Okay, these are just my natural teeth. However, I do use the Himalaya brand Whitening Complete Care Toothpaste. This says it's for whiter teeth, fresh breath, and helps remove plaque. It is fluoride free, SLS free, carrageenan free, and gluten free. This is by far one of my favorite toothpastes ever, like ever. I want to let you guys know if you have not switched off of major like Colgate stuff like that, you guys have to change your toothpaste. Fluoride is pretty well documented to be bad for our health. I have been fluoride free for seven or so years. And I know that when you're first coming off of fluoride toothpaste, it's a kind of scary transition because I know when it comes to body care and hygiene, we don't want to go into natural products that are gonna make us stink and not have the efficacy of the ones with the chemicals. I understand that, I get that. But please trust me, this Himalaya toothpaste is phenomenal. Another one that you can try is the Desert Essence whitening one if you need a toothpaste that is strong that's going to knock that bad breath out and you really want it to be on the stronger side especially when you're first starting out with a natural toothpaste the desert essence is quite a bit stronger i also love the desert essence mouthwash the whitening mouthwash it is phenomenal it's one of my favorite mouthwash don't be scared leave the fluoride behind sweetheart okay mm. that's delicious child mm. deodorant I'm gonna keep it above with you. Y'all know I love you, okay? I've tried a lot of natural deodorants, and in fact, the reason why I don't have one to show you right now is that I just ordered a couple of different ones, and I will probably let you guys know how those go in a shorts video within about a week or so. So with that being said, one that I will 
recommend is the Lumi. This one is so good. It is clean, it is aluminum free, and I believe it's a water-based product as well. If you wanna try something that's aluminum free and you're just like branching out into that, that natural deodorant world, try that. I am very, very curious to know what deodorants you guys are using down in the comments below. Let me know what's working for you because if these ones I ordered ain't working, honey, I wanna try a different one. This time around, I did order one of the ones with the alpha hydroxy acid in it and so I really wanna try that and see if that works. Y'all let me know what deodorant you really like, okay? Please get down in the comments below and let me know. So on to face, okay? Ooh. Let's start with cleanser first. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you all. I'm a product junkie. <laughs> as well as I actually do get sent PR, okay? And I want you to know that pretty much, I would say about 90% of these things are not PR. I bought pretty much all of this with my own money and I will mention the ones that I did not purchase with my own money, okay? So don't be worried. I still would not recommend it if it was sent to me or not. If it ain't good, it ain't making it onto this video. That's all. With that being said, as a professional skincare therapist, I find that there's a need for multiple cleansers in my life. Verse is just one of those brands that was an instant classic. I fell in love with this brand the minute that I used one of their first products. This is a product that was sent to me. I did not buy this with my own money. However, as you can see, it's almost gone and I will be repurchasing it. It's called the Purest Antioxidant Cleanser. It says super fruit complex plus aloe leaf juice. It's made for a combination balanced and oily skin. I am a combo oily skin girl. However, I am deeply, deeply dehydrated. This is like your basic gel cleanser. What I like about it is I can use it on my face and my eyes. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It doesn't strip my skin. It feels very viscous and very gel-like. Super concentrated and it foams. Everybody needs a basic cleanser. Verst is a clean beauty brand. It's made with 35% recycled plastic. Love to see it. It also is a recyclable bottle. It is dermatology tested. It's fragrance free, clean ingredients, no animal testing. Love it. Can't get better than that. Okay, another one that I would like to mention. This is the Urban Skin RX Clear Skin Cleansing Bar 3-in-1 Treatment. They also have this in the Even Skin Cleansing Bar. That one's like, and it has a green label. That one I really love as well. It's not nearly as strong as this one. This one is for deep cleansing, blemish prone skin, okay? So I did go through a moment there for a couple years <laughs> where I suffered deeply from hormonal acne. Yes, I had hormonal cystic acne. Once a month, every month, okay? And that's because my hormones were not balanced. And I used to suffer so, so bad. It was painful. And this is one of the products that really, really helped my skin during that time. It is a solid bar. It's almost gone now, as you can see. And it comes with two sponges, and you kind of wet the sponge, and you just wipe it into the bar, and then cleanse your skin with the sponge. Urban Skin RX, hit it out the park with this one. Again, it is free of parabens. It's fragrance-free, free of sulfates. It's not tested on animals. It's vegan. All the things. I love Urban Skin RX, and now they have started to make body care products and I need to pick some up. Okay, the next cleanser. Yes, there is another, I'm sorry. So this is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. Since I moved to Texas, I found that through the winter months, my skin really needed more hydration. And that's why I had stopped using the Urban Skin RX and I switched to an oil cleanser. This sounds crazy for an oily skin person to want to use an oil cleanser, but the science is actually there to, to back the fact that oil and oil attract each other. So this does actually help to decongest and declog your pores. Formulated without phthalates, it is also fragrance free and it is also mineral oil free. There's no junk in here. This is a Japanese brand and I find that their products are just no nonsense, straight to the point. Let's talk exfoliants. In natural esthetician fashion, we have to talk about exfoliants, okay? So first things first, First, let's talk about this first product. This is called the Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask. This is an AHA, BHA complex pineapple enzyme mask. This is absolutely phenomenal. I'm pretty sure that you guys have seen this because it went viral. First, as a brand, is a clean beauty brand, so I never have to worry about that with them. It is a mask. I kind of brush it on with a brush and leave it on for how many minutes? Two, three minutes. Let me tell you something. This right here, if you want your skin to be smoother and brighter instantly, this is your girl. Moving on, good molecules, whoa. Did you guys know that this is a Korean brand? I don't know why I thought this was an American brand. This is a Korean brand, y'all, okay? And this is the pineapple exfoliating powder. 
This is formulated with fruit enzymes, vitamin C, rice powder to soften, brighten, and gently exfoliate. You can do this in AM, PM. This is something you can do every single day. For my girls that have eczema or active acne or super sensitive skin, or you're a beginner to exfoliants and you're not sure where to start, this is a phenomenal product for you to try. Clean, conscious, recyclable, and this is a powder that you pour into your hand and mix it with water and you scrub your skin with it. It's not super abrasive, it's very gentle, and one of the good things about this product is for us who have hyperpigmentation and uneven skin, the pineapple enzymes in here really help to even and brighten our skin. Phenomenal, I cannot recommend that enough. I have a lot of moisturizers, so let's just do the one serum that I have first. <laughs> This is the Inky List 15% Vitamin C and EGF Serum. EGF means Epidermal Growth Factor. I love the Inky List. So affordable. This is probably the most affordable thing in Sephora. What I like about this product is, first of all, it's vitamin C. If you are a brown girl, you need to be using a vitamin C serum. It's non-negotiable. I don't even know what we're talking about right now. It is essential for not only anti-aging, but really managing our pigmentation and making sure that our skin is even and glowing. Don't skip this. This is something that's not a serum. This is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. This product right here is phenomenal. The Ordinary itself is not, I thought they were a clean brand, but it turns out not everything is clean. It's just so disappointing. Either way, this is 100% organic cold press rosehip seed oil. I use this for my face. I use this on top of my night creams. I use this mixed into my moisturizer. I use this on my lips. I use this on my eyes. I use this on my eczema patches. I use this on scars. I've used this on my cuticles. I use this on my edges. It is, to me, a multi-use oil. I think I have several videos about this. I will link one right here because as you know, I do have skincare videos on this channel. It's like one of those things that you keep in the cabinet that you just need to have. Phenomenal. Okay, so I do have several moisturizers here because they're different price points and they're for different reasons, okay? So um, let's do the first two that are the most accessible. Skin Fix, this is the Barrier Plus Skin Barrier Restoring Gel Cream, OMG. This is absolutely amazing, like amazing. Not only is Skin Fix a clean beauty brand, they are planet conscious. This is actually refillable. You can unscrew it and buy a new insert. It is a pump, so it's very hygienic. It's a super, super hydrating gel cream that leaves my skin glowing and dewy and radiant without being oily. But what I like most about the technology in this brand is it is barrier repairing. For anybody that has psoriasis or eczema, you know what it's like for your skin to just hate everything you put on it. It can become super sensitive, red, itchy, irritated, scaly, and this actually repairs the barrier functioning in your skin. I put this on my eczema patches and I swear to you when I wake up, they're smoother and less scaly and less itchy and irritated. It also soothes my skin, like my face skin, and really repairs the barrier functioning. I could go on and on and on, but I don't have the time. The next one, Bioma. I'm sure you all have seen this brand. They are extremely transparent as a brand. So on the side of their bottles, you will always see an ingredient list broken down. And in layman's terms, you will see what that ingredient does. This is the UVA UVB Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Moisturizing Gel Sunscreen. This has hyaluronic acid and beta-glucan in it. This is another brand that is barrier function repairing. For my dark skin girls and my brown girls, this is a moisturizer with SPF in it that actually will not leave us with a white cast. And let me just rub it in. Another thing that I like about this particular product, I love Bioma. Like everything that I've tried from this brand, I'm just super impressed. I'm not sure if everything that they make is clean, but I do know most of the things that they make are clean products. Look at the glow, and there's absolutely no white cast. Shook, we'll be repurchasing. Okay, so I have two other moisturizers, yes, that I want to mention to you guys. You probably think I'm OD, but I already told you the reason why I have all these products. I did get sent this from Plant Coast. Absolutely love this. It came in a trio of a facial essence liquid, almost like a toner, and their Phyto C serum, which I absolutely adore. This is a brand called Plant Coast. This is their Phyto A face lotion. 
the reason why I'm mentioning this, okay, number one, these two are on the pricier sides of moisturizer, but if you're serious about your skincare and you really wanna try something that's very highly effective, these two are it. The reason why I'm mentioning this is not only is it clean and it is made with adaptogenic ingredients. It was actually formulated for and tested on melanated skin. As we know already, most skincare products are tested on a very small range of skin types and tones and mostly that's fair and light skin. We are often not considered in the testing of skincare products. If you didn't know that, there's such a great disparity when it comes to actual testing or melanated skin with skincare products. The woman who founded this is a, is a pharmacist, if I'm not mistaken, created this specifically for melanated skin types to target the things that we experience. So this face lotion has Bacuchiol, and this is a plant-based substitute for retinol. It has Gotu Cola, it has Shisandra, and niacinamide. There's turmeric in here, ashwagandha. I want to say there's licorice in there. It helps mainly with hyperpigmentation and dehydration in the skin. I find that this lotion probably will go well for any skin type. It actually does reduce inflammation in my skin and it helps heal my skin. This is great for acne. It's great for those who have sensitive skin, so on and so forth. So my last moisturizer, this is like my favorite. Besides that one, this is my favorite moisturizer that I've tried in such a long time. I know I've raved about a lot of these products here, and trust me, it's because I'm truly, truly impressed. I'm never impressed, okay? <laughs> Not impressed. So if there's anything you ever see me talking about or raving about, that's because it's made such an impact in my life. This is the Clear Stem Hydro Glow Moisturizer. This has Bacuccio, which again is a plant-based retinol alternative. It has stem cells, which are plant source. It also has squalene. It's regenerative, restoring, and hydrating. This was gifted to me by this brand. I am so thankful that I was able to try this product because if they had sent it to me, I would have never known about it, okay? So it says a daily moisturizer packed with stem cells to achieve noticeably softer, younger, and healthier skin. It works on all skin types. It is clean. It is safe for sensitive skin. It is acne safe, but also anti-aging. So what I love about this brand is they are toxin and paraben free. They are free of hormone disruptors. They are free of pore cloggers, and they are very conscious of hormone disrupting ingredients. I think they are one of the only brands that speak to hormone disruption and also speak to hormone wellness when it comes to skincare. They also have a supplement that I was able to try, which is phenomenal as well. If you are looking for a luxurious moisturizer that is not going to break you out, that is going to moisturize your skin like nothing you've ever seen without being heavy, that is going to heal your skin and balance your skin at the same time, this is a beautiful, beautiful product to try. I'm gonna go pretty quickly because I think body care is pretty self-explanatory. This is the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. I have slowly stepped away from body washes with fragrance in them and this fits the bill. It leaves my skin so smooth, so moisturized, you almost feel like you don't even need to put lotion on after the shower. It is an oil to gel formula that intensely nourishes. Naturium as a brand, I believe is a clean beauty brand. This particular product is cruelty free, paraben free, gluten free, vegan, dermatology tested. This does foam. Now my new staple body wash. I am typically an oil kind of girl over lotion or body butter. It has to be extraordinarily impressive for me to use a lotion or a body butter especially. This is the Naturium Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Butter. Oil infused formula that deeply conditions and hydrates. It has some of the same exact ingredients as the body wash. I can't get over it. It leaves this beautiful smooth, amazing, look at this. It just literally turns your skin into silk. It's just, it's, it's extremely impressive. As I said, it checks all the boxes. It is $20, but it's worth every single penny. I did wanna quickly mention Necessaire. This is the body lotion from Necessaire. It is fragrance free. They donate 1% to the planet, which I absolutely love. It is also a clean beauty brand. Please excuse this, it got stained in my purse. 
but I absolutely love this lotion. Travel size of the body lotion that I like to carry inside of my bags. So as I said, as far as body care goes, I am an oil type of girl. I will mention right now, I'm gonna put on the screen, one of my favorite body oils is organic cold pressed hemp seed oil. Yes, it does smell very much like hemp and that does go away, but it is so amazingly light, but super, super, super moisturizing. Now, you guys, some of y'all might judge me, but I do need you to understand that when I'm looking for oil, sometimes I do buy food grade oil. And in this case, I have Nature Eats Premium Almond Oil. This is non-GMO and it is 100% pure expeller pressed California sweet almonds. It does come in a eco-friendly pouch like this. I don't wanna say there's anything particularly special about this particular brand. However, 100% pure sweet almond oil is phenomenal for your skin. I actually just pour this into a bottle and put it into my shower. I use it right in the shower while I'm still damp, yes. Okay, that's the best way to apply your body oils while your skin is damp. It has vitamin A and E in there, which are phenomenal for hyperpigmentation, firming, and anti-aging properties for your skin. If you have been looking to amp up your skincare regimen, I highly recommend that you start using body oils. You do not have to buy some super expensive, bougie body oil, okay? And I'm showing you this just for that purpose. So you can see that you can go in the grocery aisle and you can get a food grade oil and take it home and turn it into a body oil, okay? If you can eat it, you can certainly put it on your body as body care. Don't let nobody fool you. One thing that I do love to do with my body oils is put several drops of essential oils in there, whichever one you like and you can tolerate, something uplifting. You can do a bergamot oil or a tangerine oil, which is great for the summertime. Lemongrass, oh my God, amazing in there. If you're gonna be using it at night, you could put a couple drops of lavender oil and really amp it up and there you go you got yourself a body oil that is by far one of my favorite kind of hacks is to literally go into the grocery store and buy food grade oil it's a multi-purpose oil you can use it for your face your hair your cuticles your body <laughs> and you can actually cook with it if you decided to just just beaming child look at it look at it and the other thing about sweet almond oil that i that i really wanted to mention it's extremely light weight fragrance when it comes to fibroid safe and hormone safe products in general fragrance is not a hormone friendly ingredient to have in your products fragrance is fragrance and it can very much be hormone disrupting however i thought it very important that i mention some clean fragrance brands if you will because i cannot imagine life without fragrance i just i can't and i don't want this condition to hold me back from smelling amazing <laughs> dead cool this one is a clean fragrance fragrance brand. They have ancillary products. They even have laundry detergent and all types of home fragrances that are clean. They are clean and planet aware. They are also vegan and brand just has some really amazing claims when it comes to being clean. This is an eau de parfum called Sunlit Blooms. They also pride themselves on being genderless. Mm, this smells like spring, summer, amazing. Please check their fragrances out. I'm not here to sell the fragrances. I just wanna give you some options in case you are like me. No doubt, if you've been watching my channel, have been introduced to Skylar Clean Beauty. Again, they are another clean fragrance brand. But this one is called Lime Sands. Amazing for spring, summer. I just, I, I adore this fragrance. And I am so, so happy that I was able to partner with this brand several times. Amazing, great quality, very high end for a clean fragrance brand. Now, I did also want to mention Ellis Brooklyn. Not only clean, it does hold the clean at Sephora certification and it is vegan. This is by far one of my favorite new emerging fragrance brands. Lynn by Ellis is by far, I think, one of my favorite of their scents, but this is called West. This one is amazing and perfect for the spring and summer. This is a floral. It kind of puts me in the mind of Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, if you know that one, but this is a clean alternative. So I will have these linked below. Check out some of these. And another really good tip that I like to use when wearing fragrance these days is when I'm laying out my outfit, I will actually spray the fragrance on my outfit and then put my clothes on instead of spraying it directly on my skin these days. I think that while that is not the most foolproof method, 
of wearing fragrance. <laughs> the best way is not to wear it at all, but I think it's by far a better option than spraying it directly on my skin. If you didn't know, your skin is a permeable barrier, and so that means it selectively absorbs things, and fragrance is one of the things that it does absorb, okay? Be very careful about wearing fragrance while you have hormone issues and hormone imbalance. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have some favorite clean fragrances that you've been using. I know that this was another long video, but it was definitely one that we needed to cover. I hope that you found some products that you will be picking up and using. Please, 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 please get down in the comments down below and tell me some of your favorite fibroid friendly body care products. I look forward to trying some of your suggestions. And if you are using or go out and grab one of my suggestions, also let me know down in the comments below. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thumbs this video up and like I said, comment down below. Make sure you go over and visit hotgirlhealthjourney.com. Pick up your five day meal plan or your one day free meal plan. And I love, love, love you guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your spring and I cannot wait to talk to you beauties in another video.